Imam Ludovic Mohammed Zahed is praying for tolerance, and he's happy to do so with a woman. That in itself is already pretty unusual. But the real surprise is that the Muslim scholar is openly homosexual and fighting for gays to be accepted in Islam. This can't go on. There's too much violence, pressure and degradation. People pretend we don't exist. Sometimes there's even physical violence in our families and communities. After studying to become an imam back in his native country of Algeria, Zahed fled here to Marseille in southern France. In his new home, he came out as homosexual and founded an Islamic institute. These days, he also officiates gay weddings. On est prêt? Donc, euh, merci d'être là aujourd'hui. Euh... Thank you for coming. I'm very honored to take part in this ceremony. It's about acceptance and standing one's ground. Officially, same-sex marriages are not allowed in Islam. Congratulations. That's why some imams in France have threatened Zahed and pitted Muslims against him. Some people are very angry without knowing me. It's crazy that people can hate you or want to see you dead without even knowing you. According to one survey, over two-thirds of Muslims in France have prejudices against homosexuals. We're Muslims. We don't have that kind of thing. We behave with decency. For us, to be homosexual and do such things is a terrible sin. And that's why Muslims don't do that. But Zahed wants to belong to the Muslim community. He's already gone on five pilgrimages to the holy Muslim city of Mecca. He wants to show that homosexuals can be good Muslims. It was important to me and us to be physically present and show that we exist and are part of the community. That we have the same practices and that we're no less human or spiritual just because we're, as they put it, different. The Imam is calling for open discussion about a new reformed Islam with more tolerance towards minorities. He moderates talks on social media, and today's guests are a Catholic clergyman and Salima, one of few women who are Imams. There is a part in the Surah that you know better than me that says we have created men, we have created women, and we have created something in between. Salima values her brother in faith and says he is breaking new ground. What Ludovic is doing is he is creating an institution. He's institutionalizing a new, modern, um, um, inclusive Islam. And this is new. There is nobody offering those uh, tools. Zahed also wants to protect those who are in danger because of their sexual orientation. Like this group of homosexual refugees. Some have had their lives threatened back in their home countries. And their fellow believers here don't always show them tolerance either. It's time to sound the alarm for tolerance. The Imam has been supporting this artistic work for years. Here, the group is putting on a dance performance. It makes me happy to see how much good it does to participants. And it's interesting for the audience too, because some struggle to understand these identities. When they're just a reality, which the audience discovers here through art, and that's a wonderful thing. In order to win over more people for his cause, Ludovic Mohamed Zahed wants to share this with others. He's determined to keep at it, despite the risks. 
Oui, on peut parfois avoir un peu chaud. Sure, hein. there are moments when you're afraid. Un peu, oui, un peu peur. But not really. And that's not going to hold us back. C'est pas ça qui, qui, nous, qui nous arrêtera. <laughs>